Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. Now recently we have been doing just a lot of turtle pack. However, there's a weekly pack and it has a lot of super awesome and interesting friends. Uh, and we are going to be doing a lot of interesting things. Um, okay. So Suchinokos are not actually that crazy as I thought personally. Um... We're going to be the ironic fangirl. Uh, but this is super interesting. There's a lot more faint synergy in this weekly pack currently. Um, so it's super sick. Um, so this will turn this into a rock with more health. I love the rock because it, like, you have like it's super auto pets, pet rock. I thought that was absolutely genius and I laughed a lot. Um, we are just going to level up our friend a little bit here. Magpie is also a super interesting one. Uh... I guess we will go for it, and then we'll try to see uh, just how far we can go with it. And I guess we'll go there, and then we'll end turn, keep that gold. The magpie uh, keeps it, and the next turn we get an extra gold, which is actually super cool. Um, so they have a like thing here. It will activate. Um, unfortunately for us, though, we are going to lose this one. But that's fine at the end of the day, because we are going to get our one health back. So it doesn't matter as much. So we're going to get this Basilisk. Um, and then we're going to get a Ram. Because Ram is kind of just awesome. Um, so Trumpets. I'm really unsure about what they do. Um, I guess we'll just do this. That's very interesting. I would go for that, but I think at the moment there's a lot of like things we could get at the moment that are actually decent. As you see, we have a lot of um, just really strong rocky boys. Ah, so the trumpet summons a um, friend when this thing dies. Oh, uh, okay. This thing, the Nightcrawler, is one I was actually super interested in, so I would really like to do that. Why does it keep lagging out the game? Um, so this is also one I really wanted to try. So if we um, sell these two, buy the um, guinea pig. That's crazy. That's actually awesome. That's such a good pet idea. Just a pet that gives itself one experience every single time you summon it is kind of crazy. Oh, we kind of screwed ourselves a little bit here. Whoops. But this is way harder. The strategies and stuff are like way crazier. Um, so we want to get a dog for sure, and then we'll try to get something really strong. So like maybe, um, oh well at the moment we kind of want to start a battle, activate tier 2 or lower faint friends, none of these would do anything. That's more for like, Anubis is more for like, like stuff like the tar here. Um, eels are super cool, but I think we're doing a summon strat. Those Easter eggs actually would be kind of useful. Um, so we're going to do this guinea pig up front, because uh, turning it, it, it into a rock is fine, considering the fact that it's just there to get buffed. So that Suchinoko is going to go up first. Um, they summon a leech, we summon a bunch of lambs. We then summon a really big night, uh, day crawler because the night crawler obviously turns into the day crawler. Um, okay, so we're gonna go for this for sure. Um, we're gonna go next. Um, Pegasus. Wyvern is super interesting, but kind of really hard to make good use of.
cockatoo is kind of useful. It just buffs your faint friends. So this is now going to be a 4-7. Or 4-9. Oh, right, because it's a level 2 basilisk. Okay, a tie. I can live with that. I like the secretary bird a lot. Um, so I think we'll get rid of this. We'll get this, which buffs anything. We'll get this, because we do want the Secretary Bird in general. Another Nightcrawler, good to see, good to see. And then one of these, so we can summon a 4-4 four, four, or a 2-1 uh, that deals double damage. Which is essentially just a 4-4. Four, four. Um, so we're going to do it like this. Something like that. So this is like essentially the secretary bird is like the opposite of a shark where the shark would normally so I'll give this a little play by play so the secretary bird is like the shark but instead of buffing itself it buffs the other person here so we have two here so this is gonna be a very rocky road just losing out by a weaker secretary bird Um, yeah, we can try that. Actually, I don't think that was a good idea. Another boy cotton. Oh, and that's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Keep thinking of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards whenever I look at these. Or like Hearthstone cards, I always think of the uh, Shaman McCall whenever I look at that one. Yeah, we do miss out on the monkey there, so that is a shame. We do tie there though, which I'm really happy about. Mimic is super cool though, I'm super, I love that. Um, that Nordic Goats are kind of good, but won't be good in this situation. Yeah, I don't think the Banana was the right play there. But this should work a bit more. So, take 4 damage less, take 4 damage less, now we don't have an ability, but now it doesn't really matter as much. Just having a good forward tank is really strong. Yeah, that's really good. Making as well our dog just even beefier as we go on. Oh man. I really don't understand what mana is. Um Go over it again for you. Um, so this is an interesting one, removing health and giving attack. I think for something like a a sheep, that's fine. Um, chocolate, that's the one we want to see. And a dog, also good to see. Okay, basilisk down. Interesting spot for the virus to be. 
uh, cause that makes everything weak, but, uh, it only affects, like, you know, it would be better to have that at a front point. Um, so what we're gonna do here, I think, is just get this level 3. Um, faint, summon one random faint pet from any pack. Um, interesting, but I don't think we'll go for it. Secretary bird as well. Uh, boy tartar makes the opponent crisp, which is just extra damage. That's cool and all, but we're kind of going for a forward tank into summoning a bunch of things kind of style. That's insane. I don't know. It must be this thing. There was something buffing everything that was coming out. Um, okay. That's actually fucking... Crane is OP. We're gonna have to try to do a build for that. Um... That's just better. <laughs> okay. So every single time an enemy dies, uh, like a friend dies, we get an extra ability. Nutcracker does something. I think it summons an extra 6-6 six, six at the very end. Oh, it doesn't. It must have summoned it earlier then. Yeah, right. 20 though, that seems so crazy. Um. Shame. Um. It's still good though, uh, an extra, a stronger dog is always really good. One thing I do like is that there's not as much murking, there's more just like, more faint synergies in this one. God, Chili is so fucking irritating to deal with in this mode. But thankfully, we were able to do that. That's awesome. I do want to put that on you. I know that might be crazy because we have that. We are going to freeze you. Nothing here. Nothing extra crazy. Okay, I'm a massive freaking annoying boss. Whew, that was close. That is awesome. Get that Spinosaurus effect up one. Um, roll again. I'm gonna give the dog, uh, just the ability to be extra fucking strong. The ironic fangirls with our level 2 Spinosaurus. Oh god. God, Crane, uh, Pegasus is just insane as well. But like, we're still doing really well, so I'm really happy about that. We are at 8. Can we do something crazy? That is going to really help us. Another good old friend. We're going to unfreeze this one. We're going to go for that one. Then we'll end. 
Can we win? Can we get to the point where we have a level 3 Spinosaurus? Ooh. Oh, that was sick. It actually deflected it a little bit. So more buffs for the team. No. The ironic fangirls just couldn't do it. But hey, we're going to do some more videos on this weekly video because this ends in 20 hours. So I hope you all enjoy it. I'm learning a lot more about all these new different packs as well, which is super awesome. So yeah, hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.